All right, folks, in this video, we're going to show you how to get the HDR photo effect, which is also kind of similar to the clarity slider in Lightroom, uh, Photoshop, uh, Camera Raw, Hit Film, Vibrance, etc., without having to use any paid plugins in Vegas Pro. So, the first thing we're going to do is start with a clip on the timeline here. We have this woman walking through a city street. We're going to duplicate the clip. And now on the top track, we're going to start with these effects. Black and white. Invert. Brightness and contrast. Gaussian blur. In that order. We end up with this. We're going to go to our Gaussian Blur, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to set it to a little less blurry, maybe 0 0.04 by 0 0.04. And then on our top track here, we're going to set the compositing mode to overlay. So we get before, after. So you can see it makes the colors really pop gives a little bit of this sort of halo effect around the roof and you can adjust that by dialing in these settings here to your liking until you get just the look you're after and then you can go back and mess with some of these other settings as well um, I meant to put the brightness and contrast before the invert so if you adjust the contrast, you can see you get even more control over the, how, how it pops, which areas are lit and which are not. Brightness is much the same. And you can go into the black and white and toy with these settings as well until you get the desired look. You can go up here to these presets once you get the desired look and you can save presets using by typing in a new name here and clicking the little save icon here then when you click on this drop down you will see it appear in the list for future use so get you an effects chain going with all your presets and you can easily add this to another clip and once you get it done to one clip getting it done to more is easy from there so we'll go back to hub explorer for instance and add this clip of this woman but we'll add it twice so it's also on the top track and then we're just going to copy the top the first track on the top here and paste event attributes onto the second track and there you go you can apply the same effect to multiple files very quickly that way. Hope this helps. You can also experiment with adding different effects into the effects chain. Uh, I would recommend before invert and Gaussian blur and see if messing with those parameters gives you even better results. There's all sorts of different things you can do here to get the look that you're after. And then once you're done with that you can take it all into the color grading panel and you can do even more work to it by adjusting the colors here you can use these fancy new color curves that they just introduced in the new update hue versus hue versus saturation luminance saturation versus saturation luminance etc that lets you adjust the intensity of individual colors and you can use that to perfect the look you want to go for you can use the range limited color wheels to specify ranges where you want to adjust your colors in. Possibilities are endless. Have fun!